What's going on everybody? Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here and today I'm going to show you how to swap out your headlight bulbs with LEDs on your F-150 so that way you can get a clean modern look without replacing the entire housing. So let's get right into it. One thing to note right off the top is that the bulbs you'll need for this truck are going to be H11s for the low beams and 9005s for the high beams. So just make sure you have the right bulbs before you get started so that way you don't end up with a bulb that isn't going to fit in the housing after you've tore everything apart. The first thing you'll need to do is turn your wheel outward so that way you can get to the fender liner here at the front of the truck. And in this case we removed our wheel entirely but that's just so we could get the camera in here and you guys could see better. But you won't need to remove the wheel or put the truck on a lift to do this job normally. Now, once the wheel's tilted out, there's gonna be three screws on the fender liner that are tucked in here and kind of go up along the edge of it. We're gonna remove those with a seven millimeter socket, but you could also use a Phillips head screwdriver if you needed, just to get them out of the way. The low beam bulb is the harder one to get to because it's at the top of the housing here. So you are going to have to reach in quite a ways, but what you're going to want to do is pull this little rubber dust cap off the back of it. There you go. Peel it off the edges. With the dust cap out of the way, towards the bottom of this hole where the low beam bulb is located, you'll be able to feel the connector with your finger and you're going to want to push down on the plastic tab on that connector and then pull it out of the way. You can kind of see it here when I pull the harness out. So. There'll be a little black tab there that you need to push on. Now that the connector's out of the way, you can rotate the bulb counterclockwise a little bit. You'll feel it click and come undone, and then you should be able to just kind of wiggle it out of the housing, and there's our bulb. Now I'm gonna bring our new Crystal Lux bulb up here for the low beam, and just as a note, you're gonna need an H11 bulb for the low beam on this truck. So that's what we've got, and it's just gonna reinstall the same way we took the factory one out. And once I get it into place, you can kind of look through the front of the headlight again and see where the tabs are and then rotate it accordingly. It should just rotate clockwise and then lock into place. With the bulb locked in, we can take our LED harness and plug this into the factory harness for the original headlight and just push until we feel it kind of click into place. And then we're gonna tuck this whole thing into the housing so that way we can put the dust caps back on and we're not gonna get any dirt or moisture into the back of the headlight. Moving down to the high beam bulb now, it's gonna be the exact same process as the top. It's just a different bulb on the inside. So we'll pull off the dust cap here first. Then we can reach inside here and unclip the harness, which the harness for this one is slightly different. There's two little plastic tabs on here that you have to peel up to get it to unclick. So not too tricky, but you can feel it with your thumb when you reach in. Then we're gonna twist this bulb to unlock it and pull it out. I've got our new Crystal Lux high beam bulb now, and these are gonna be a 9005, so it is different from the low beam. Just make sure that you get the right bulb for the right application here. And then push it into place, and we're gonna rotate it while putting some pressure on it, just like we did with the top. Make sure it locks in there, and you'll feel once it's kind of snug. And just like up top, we're gonna to plug our new harness in, make sure we get a nice click, and we can tuck all this into the housing. A quick note before you put the fender liner back down, just make sure you hop in the truck, turn on your lights and confirm that those bulbs work and that you don't have any issues. And once you're good to go, then we can replace this.
right, folks, that's all it takes to swap your bulbs out. And obviously we did it on the driver's side here, but it's gonna be the exact same process on the passenger side. And just so you know, we'll have links down below in the description to our website if you wanna pick up some bulbs similar to what we used here. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.